Hello guys, welcome to my channel. We are in my bedroom today because uh, I turned the heating on the stove. I actually set the fire going because it was quite chilly in my house even though uh, this summer we installed the central heating. Uh, now these days it's been very very cold, minus one, minus two. Uh, so it became just so freaking cold that I wasn't able to film in other room where I usually film even though we have central heating going on there uh, but you know I just wanted to be here close to this uh, wonderful amazing stove that just radiates heat you know uh, so today is another day of vlogmas I've been vlogging a bit uh, in Croatian language so I thought I would just switch it up and do this vlog in English so basically today I'm going to do this uh, good old video oldie but goodie um, it's actually what's in my bag video it's been a long time since I've done what's in my bag so I think this is going to be fun uh, recently I enjoy watching what's in my bag videos again they became quite popular so yeah let me go ahead and show you what's in my bag I went to get my bag and I also changed my turtleneck because I just did not really like how it looked like underneath this sequin blazer so I think this is way cooler and it's just more me you know this is how I would personally style this uh, sequin blazer and they really wanted to wear this sequin blazer in this video because you know it's all about holiday spirit and festivities and uh, when are you supposed to wear sequin blazer if not now during the holiday season so yeah let me know which combination do you prefer better i think i opt for this the second one uh, so let me show you what's in my bag this is my bag i have a lot of bags that I um, wear on rotation uh, probably every single day I will change a bag and wear a different one uh, this is the bag that I wore uh, yesterday when I went to my hairdresser so it still has a lot of things inside that I don't even know I can't really remember but uh, you know it's going to be realistic I did not put things inside just to show them to you but I actually wore all these things inside of my bag when I went to visit my hairdresser and it's Max Mara bag it's really beautifully made great quality uh, real leather it's suede and real leather and some gold metal chain as detailing um, it can be worn like this uh, or you can wear it as a crossbody bag because it has got a, a longer shoulder strap and this is why I really love it it's actually a second hand purchase it's one of my best buys fun fact I used to work at Max Mara did you guys know that? so it was actually one of my first jobs when I moved to Italy I worked at Max Mara in Venice, Italy for a short while so if you want me to I can do a story time or something like that and share my experience of working in that store with you I think it would be fun so basically the first thing that comes in my hands uh, are these um, shopper bags and I have to fold them because I just throw them inside of the bag they always carry them in my bag this one is uh, Le Petit Prince uh, which is so cute and then I have another one which is Mickey Mouse so I never go anywhere without my shopper bags. I have another one which is unicorn one which is also super super cute but I think that's a little bit too much you know <laughs> to carry. Uh, so I have a pair of sunnies. Uh, this one is vintage Max Mara. I bought them uh, when I was still in high school so that was a long long time ago and these were my first ever designer pair of um, sunglasses you know by Max Mara. So that's a coincidence uh, but I really like them. I rediscovered them recently actually at my mom's. Um, she still had them somewhere in the drawer and I was like I'm going to wear them again they're super cool so I was so excited you know like a little child. So yeah I've been wearing them loads and uh, I don't have the original box container for them because that was stolen actually. Luckily they did not steal my sunglasses. Uh, then I have let me see oh I have two cookies 
These are uh, gluten-free uh, chocolate chip cookies. Uh, just in case I feel a bit hungry, you know, I have um, a little something sweet. Uh, then I have a very randomly red marker. And this one is actually my little ones, my sons. He was drawing something and then he asked me to just, you know, keep it in my bag because he didn't need it anymore. I need to put it in his room, obviously. Just one patch, how do you call these? Um, Hansaplast, you know, for blisters. Oh gosh, I cannot remember the word. It's on the top of my tongue. I cannot remember it right now. Uh, what else do I have? I have another pair of sunglasses um, and I really need to store them away uh, because I don't need two pairs of sunglasses in my bag. Roberto Cavalli, this is another um, vintage pair, but I actually bought it second hand. Um, and I think they are very, very cool. Let me show them to you. They are very early 2000, you know. Uh, I really like them. What do you guys say? Do you prefer these ones or Max Mara? Let me know which ones do you prefer. Uh, but yeah, I really like them. And they are actually my recent purchase. And then I have my Tangle Teaser. This one is super cute because it's compact and uh, it's uh, just super handy and very, very practical to carry around in your bag. I bought it years ago at Sephora. Uh, then I have, uh, well, this is a little surprise for my son. I'm very, very excited about that, also because I like to give him little surprises. So I'm not really sure if this is going to be like addition to a bigger Christmas present or if I'm just going to surprise him with it uh, these days. Uh, then I have my wallet. Uh, this one is by Guess. Uh, I bought it um, a couple of years ago actually and it's very, you know, big, spacious. Uh, I really like it. Uh, then I have this uh, mini wallet by Victoria's Secret, uh, which I bought second hand but it was brand new when I got it. Let me see if it can focus. I really like it because uh, whenever you're carrying very small bags, which I sometimes do because this will fit, you know, my identity card, uh, some, you know, other cards that I need, a little bit of cash, maybe even keys. And that's it, very, very practical. This is really what I needed. But then I have two products that my hairdresser um, gifted to me. Uh, they are uh, shampoo and conditioner, actually shampoo and hair mask uh, by brand Kemon. She works with that brand and hair color that she uses, it's all by Kemon. And this is their Activia line or Activa line. So I'm looking forward now they are sealed, but I can still sense fragrance. It's really lovely. So I'm really, oh gosh, ah, oh, this mask smells amazing. I'm really looking forward to testing these out. They're like travel size and they're going to be very handy when I travel to Italy. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to let you know how I like these. Uh, then I have a hand sanitizer. This is uh, for babies. It's very handy to carry in your bag for adults as well. And I got this at my local Drogheri Markt uh, drugstore. So it's very good to have this in your bag, especially if you want to, you know, snack something and you're out and about, obviously you want to have clean hands. I wore, you know, hand sanitizers uh, even before the whole uh, pandemic situation so yeah <laughs> it's nothing new for me um, and uh, I have this little Alviero Martini store my house keys inside and I have this a little keychain it's actually a souvenir from Scotland um, this uh, is what my hubby brought from Scotland a couple of years ago and the Viero Martini little pouch is actually a gift that I received from my um, former colleagues from work uh, it was a surprise birthday party that my hubby drove for me together with some of my dear colleagues I think it was my 37th birthday and yeah, they gifted this to me because they knew I really like Calviero Martini. Uh, then I have two receipts, let me see, from Tisa because I was sending out some packages. You guys know that I sell my uh, secondhand clothes as well, so I had to ship something. 
Um, then I have another hand sanitizer, again from Balea, this is like liquid gel sanitizer. I have a pack of uh, tissues, handkerchiefs, because uh, you always need those, right? Then I have this uh, makeup bag, which is very cute. I think I got it the winter I was pregnant at the local um, drugstore in Italy together with some L'Oreal um, beauty products. It's very, very beautiful uh, velvet pouch and I just carry some of my like everyday necessities. Avon Care uh, Gentle Hand Cream. Let me put it right now because I have dry hands. And this uh, contains uh, multibiotics and vanilla and vitamin E. So it's lovely product, smells really divine. Mm, and you always need to carry a hand cream, right? I have some other patches, but you know, in case of blisters or if you cut yourself, God forbid, because I will faint. Uh, then I have two lip glosses. I have this uh, Aura uh, Star Gloss in shade 11 Luna, which I think is Serbian brand, but it's my favorite, like favorite lip gloss uh, and I repurchased it because it's so amazing, especially this shade 11 Luna. It's uh, very pearly, you know, pearly pink, just beautiful. And then I have this uh, powerful 5 by Catrice liquid lip balm and this one I think was a gift with purchase with some magazine. It's very nice nude color. Um, it says here golden ginger shade 80. So that's nice just to keep my uh, lips moisturized and I also have this uh, Veleda Skin Food Lip Balm. Uh, I adore uh, Veleda Skin Food um, Face Cream. I always use it at night before going to sleep. It's a part of my beauty routine. Uh, this one is okay. It's not uh, my favorite lip balm. I had better hopes for it, but you know, it's okay. <laughs> Nothing too special. Then I have a hair clip because obviously it's very handy to have one. I have uh, Invisibubble uh, Elastic um, and I also carry just a mini nail file by Douglas and just very randomly I have this uh, walnut. I don't know, there's something to it. <laughs> but you know, I have a lot of walnuts from my garden so I just carry one in my bag. And then I have this um, Bach flower rescue spray um, I really am into you know Bach and uh, Bach flowers uh, I have two books that I am currently reading on his uh, method you know so it's very interesting for me and sometimes I need this rescue spray because sometimes uh, I'm feeling you know very anxious um, so yeah, I think it helps a little bit, uh, especially uh, when I'm carrying it around with me. Um, it's like knowing that I have this little something that can just ease the anxiousness away. Sometimes I don't even feel anxious, you know, just because I know I have this in my bag. So anyway, guys, that's it. That's everything that I carry in my bag. Um, sometimes I carry even less but usually there is even a water bottle because uh, I always like to have some sort of liquid with me. I have a thermos, you know, so either it's um, water or it's uh, hot tea, especially now when outside it's very, very cold. I enjoy my warm tea. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy watching this video. I also wanted to let you know, since I'm doing Vlogmas and all, feeling very festive, and everything I really wanted to send out some Christmas cards um, I have vintage Christmas cards and I love them so much they're very precious to me so uh, I really really want to send out some uh, you know joy magic and the uh, spirit of all past times when people were um, even more connected than now we are now all connected uh, via internet and everything feels very very you know connected and fast and uh, instant but at the same time i feel people are more disconnected than ever i don't really like that um, way of sending out christmas greetings uh, via whatsapp and viber and facebook and whatnot so i really really want to send out good old christmas cards i want to sit down and write with my pen on a piece of paper on old vintage christmas card and send out some 
messages of joy and uh, just positivity so if you guys want me to send you a Christmas card then contact me you know I will put uh, my email down below and also in the comments you can say you're interested and I will be more than happy it doesn't matter where you live in this world I will send out a Christmas and New Year's Eve card for you from my heart from the bottom of my heart because I want you to feel happy uh, okay guys uh, that was it please like this video and subscribe share it on your social medias with your friends and family to help my channel grow a little bit i really do appreciate it and now i'm sending you a big kiss from Croatia, and i will talk to you soon in my next video mm -hmm. ciao